Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Well, it ain't me. I got my channel rated R and close to X. Uh, anyway, I'm going to show you the Harmony Audio 18. Uh, like I said, I bought four of these. We we're going to do four in a sign. Mr. Jerry Ain't Loud, cool ass dude. Love him to death. He, uh, he suggested three because we're going to do a sixth order. And to get the wind that my son wants, that's what he wants to do. And so I'm going to run these till, till I put them to the moon and explode them. And we're going to, I'll take these frames off of these harmonies, send them back to Patrick and have him put his touch on it and have me a set of i'm gonna have seven subs where i can swap them out like tires you know at the indie race when the tire goes low or blows up we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put that sign back in the back in the under the tent or whatever and we're gonna throw some more subs in it that's what i'm gonna do i ain't gonna I, like i said I got the money. I, ain't, I, I I'm gonna build a budget system. Don't get me wrong, but I ain't scared to spend no money. So if it blows these things, bam, we're gonna slam some new ones right back in it. Same same day. Probably gonna pull a little trailer behind us like a uh, like they do a uh, drag week at the racing thing. We might hook us a trailer hitch on the back of that sign and drag them trailer with with some amps and subs. That way I can just explode shit and keep on getting it. Says so I want to give you a real demo. When the shit starts stinking and smoking, I ain't worried about it. We're just gonna keep on getting it. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the unreveal here. What it looks like if you've never seen one. And this is a badass sub. I've got the. I'm gonna have to get way back for you to see that. I got my PJs on. See my PJs. But that's the Harmony Audio Monolith 18. And like I said, I said I got some big old hands. Miller, come over here. This is my son. I got to watch what I'm saying. My son, he's 15. He, he, he don't act like me. He's straight and narrow. Put your hands down here. And he's a big old boy, too. Now, to show you the size of the, these, this, this, uh, this is a big old mega roll, super roll, fat roll, whatever you want to call it. This big, which this is the, uh, this is the 10 that Patrick made me. So, you know, Where's my tape measure, middle chiller? I'm just gonna give you an idea of the difference here. And you know this 10's got a massive surround on it compared to a, a regular surround. So that surround is, what do you think it is, Miller? About one and a half, two inches. One and a half. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Mm, yeah. I mean, if you went stitch to stitch, you're talking close to inch and three quarter. And this is the 18, which you can see is a good bit bigger. That's three inches. So that's got a three inch surround. This is a very, 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 very stiff sub. I mean, you can, ain't that right, Miller? I mean, you can push on that thing hard and it's not moving it is stiff super stiff double stitch surround this is a carbon weave cone uh it's uh concave of course not convex concave there's the harmony audio let's give them a shot it's got a real thick uh mounting ring right here Real thick rubber, so it's going to seal good. Like I said, I've been running 12s. How long have we run in 12s? Four years. About three and a half years. Three and a half, four years. And have we not put some serious, serious power on those things? 6K plus. We put, yeah, like he said, 6K plus per sub on them things. We've run up to 10K total on those subs. No problem. And they still kicking it. I keep getting people wanting to try to buy them cheap from me, but they don't understand they weigh a lot. So I'm going to try to compare the motor that Patrick sends the Gonzo Jr. to the motor on the Harmony. And honestly, there's not a whole, whole lot of difference. But 
I want you to see the other side of it. Here, I'll let you see the basket and everything. Uh, it's got quad leads. So they're double leads to each terminal, which is a total of four. This holds four gauge, not no, not no eight gauge. This is four gauge terminals on here. So these are made for business. Um, it's got a, I believe that's steel or aluminum. Yeah, it's got an aluminum uh, spider landing ring. It's black, but it is aluminum, not plastic, stainless steel, Allen heads. This sub does look good. I mean, you can mount this sub. We got them inverted and I've always inverted the subs with the 12s because the motors just look so much more massive on the 12 than they do the 18s. But they, these 18s will look good either way. I think we're still gonna do them uh, inverted. I think that's what Jerry's wanting to do. This is a three inch coil, same as the 12. It's an eight layer, eight layer coil. So that coil is very thick. And remember, like I said, if you watch the videos of the 12s, this, this 18 has never been played, y'all. It's brand new, never been played, just took out of the box. And you can see that coil looks exactly like the coil in those 12s that I have put 10,000 watts on, real power. And they look exactly like this, no rubbing, no burning, no stinking, no nothing. Look like brand new. So these, the way they have these subs designed, they got the cooling down pat. Um, and you can see how thick this spider is. I mean, this thing, it's actually got two landing rings. This is two together. So it's got two aluminum landing rings holding this sub down, this, the spider down. And when I say it's thick and tough, it's well over a quarter inch thick, the spider. It's got to be two or three together, at least. It's kind of hard to see in the video. Miller, come in here and flip this over so they can see the size of this motor. I can't do this by myself. This thing's too heavy. Um, flip it over face down. Uh, you see, he's having the time. This is a heavy sub, y'all. <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not, this ain't a baby. And then flip that uh, Patrick's 10 over. And I'm going to let you put your hands in there because my hands are just too big. Put it in the old butthole there. Two fingers in the butthole in the 10. This is the Gonzo Jr. And then go over here to the same thing on the Harmony. Uh, the vent holes are... They're a little bit bigger on the Harmony, just a little bit. Yeah. This is the the 10, the, the Gonzo Jr., and this is going to be the Harmony Audio. So it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. How many is that? Eight there's eight. eight. There's eight vents, and six there's here. six on the Juniors. But you're talking two different subs. I mean, this is a this is a 10 motor, but a go to an 18. And I'll get try to get a stand up look so you can see the size difference here. Uh, there they are right there. So you can see it's some it's a massive sub, no doubt about it. Um, flip them back over a little, buddy. But this these these things are rated seventeen fifty RMS, and the twelves are fifteen hundred RMS, and I have put ten thousand on them, no problem. Miller's doing, the, he's doing all the hard work, but there's the size difference. This is, Jerry has seen these, Duck's seen these, and they were impressed. These are badass 18s for the money. Like I said, they were rated number one out of budget 18s, number one. Not number two, number one. Uh, not like DJ Dose. You know DJ Dose off of Fanny Fanny Willis trial. These is these is DJ Uno. These are number one, but that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna run three of these to start with. I'm gonna see how good they do. If I mean if they're badass, I'm gonna leave them alone till they blow up. They blow up. We're gonna run 
these motors right here on a, on 18 TI frames, which is the same as these with the big mega roll. And Patrick's going to, we're actually going to run a set of dual, these are dual twos. We're going to run dual ones on the ones Patrick builds me because I'm probably going to double up the amps per sub. And if I want to wire the coils together and run half on, I'll run maybe a duck sauce or something on each speaker, which is going to be absurd. I miss, and we're going to do a video. Me and Miller's going to get together and do a video. We're going to pull the wires off the duck sauce out of the sign. That way I don't have to hook no more amps up in the damn gray car. And we'll pull it straight over to that tin like this. And we're going to let you see what a duck sauce does compared to a 4600 slash 5000 watt harmony amp. Which if I want to bring up one thing. How many times have you heard somebody that sets up amplifiers go? You want to set the gain about, you know, set it about a quarter. And then crank your volume up on your head unit till you get clipping okay well i showed that the other day and i want you to watch that video and my son's my witness he's standing right here he was controlling the volume knob the volume on that knob was wide open on that on that factory radio did it have any clipping nope. all right that's from a 15 year old has no reason to lie he was turning it up he's seen all the, the graphs on the o-scope he saw he knows what to look for I'm showing him as I go what to look for. Then we turn the gain wide open on the amplifier. Was it turned wide open? Yes, sir. Wide open. You heard that from a 15-year-old that does not lie. I do not allow him to lie at all. He will get his butt tore up for lying. He doesn't lie. He don't do drugs. He don't steal. He don't cuss. He's not like me. So here's the deal. He don't drink. He don't do anything. He don't smoke. He's straight and narrow. Not like me. I don't smoke or drink either, but I used to used to drink. But so that myth about man, you want to turn the gain a quarter up and all this. Well, if the if the amp is a good amplifier, and you got a good signal hitting it, and they're both clean, crank it wide open. I I was allowed to crank it wide open. On the, on the factory radio and the amplifier, no clipping whatsoever. And did it sound clear as a bell? Yeah. Absolutely clear. And I think it's hard to tell by the video, but it was barely moving that sub. I got him as my witness. That little sub that Patrick built was barely moving. And that was with, I'm going to say, 5,000 watts. If that's what the dyno says, right? We're going by that dyno, which I said I don't believe. But if we, I'm going to show you what real power is. I might do it tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. You want to do it tomorrow? Yeah. We're going to run a wire straight off the duck sauce Scion. Free air. No, we want free air. And I'm going to run it to the actual box in the back of that silver car. So I'm going to film the wire going from the duck sauce. Remove the harmony amp that's hooked to that speaker. It's inside the gray car, and I'm going to play a song or whatever. I'll play the exact same song on that 10 that's in the car right now. But that's not the same one, but it's just built the same. I'm going to run them, the wire straight from inside the sign, straight to the Mustang, and I'm going to turn it up. I'll just say 18 is probably going to blow the damn thing out of the box. That's just my guess. And then you're going to see what a real amp with real power makes. Not these made up numbers. I'm talking about real case scenario, not a dyno. Because if we're, if we're comparing dyno numbers, in actuality, that sub should move the same, right? But, it, but it's not going to because that duck sauce will destroy. Will it, Miller? Yes, it will. It'll destroy what's in the, the Mustang now. Now. Miller's my witness. That tear amps over there. What was in that red Mustang? Two harmonies on that three, on that smart three bass. That's right. When when I I took that and put it in what? I uh, put this in the sign. Okay. And then when I picked you up from school, and and I said turn it up. What did you say? 
wasn't impressive. <laughs> he was like, he said, not impressive. So he wasn't impressed. Now, when I put the duck sauce in there that you didn't know about, what did you say when you turned, when I said, turn the volume up? Very impressed. You're hearing it from a kid that doesn't need to lie or nothing. He said to me, Dad, what did you do? And that's when I said, turn around and look. And that duck sauce is destroying them 12s in there. There ain't no doubt about it. And before we brace that car up, he helped me do the whole thing. Before we brace that car up, no kidding, that roof would go at least three to four inches. Yep. True. Three to four inches now, everybody's talking about, well, it don't move now. It's not supposed to. But if I left it like the tin can that it was, it lifted the roof four inches, and all the bracing that was up under the car came apart. That's why I had to jack the roof back up. So 212, two monolith 12s on a, on a duck sauce literally broke the beams apart on the top of that roof separated it from the roof and i had to jack the roof up beam by beam true story or not true story. and we had to let it glue we didn't let it glue long enough the first time and it came apart so i had to glue it again jack it up again we've even vibroflexed under it on top of it not not straight on the beam but the sides of the beam they had a lip on it to actually hold those beams in place and he was my witness. He did the work with me. We did it together. And it took, what, several weeks? Yeah, probably a month. I mean, it probably took a month. That's what, that was over 1,200 square feet of Vibraflex in that car. 1,200. And I'm not counting the Silex and all the shit on the doors. That was just on the floor from the, from the B pillar forward and the roof. Over 1,200 square feet of Vibraflex. Anybody knows that? Knows that's a lot. So, I just want to explain what we're doing. I hope you guys can learn from it. I'm going to walk you step by step through this build. And when Jerry gets it down there and Dustin start working on the box, I'm, I'm waiting on something special for the car. I cannot tell you what it is. When I get that done, it'll go straight down the duck shop. They're going to start on the enclosure, and they're going to do a series on that car. So it's going to be serious. It's not going to be a play toy. This is going to be serious, and it'll be a 16-year-old by then's car to play around at school with. He's probably going to get kicked out of school. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care. Uh, I just wanted you to see what the Harmony looked like. It's a, it's a bad sub, y'all. I don't know what to tell you. This thing is worth every bit. I think they're three ninety nine for the dual twos. You are crazy if you don't buy that for three ninety nine. That is a killer sub. I am super impressed with everything Harmony has. We've run Harmony in the sign on the doors. Do you like them? Love he loves them. We're running Alpine R in his boss. And what are we going to change to? Harmony Audio. We're going to run Harmony Audio. You heard it from a kid. So that's what we're running. We talked about it today. I said, let's just put some harmonies in there. They're killer. They sound great. And I seen Parker Basehead. I, I like Parker. He's a cool little dude, but I like his eyebrows. He talks with his eyebrows. <laughs> you can make fun of me too. I don't care. Everybody makes fun of people. But old Parker, man, when he sits there and talks in my eyebrows, if you watch his eyebrows, he talks with them eyebrows. I mean, it's like his lips are connected to his eyebrows. I think it's funny as hell. But he's a good kid. He's trying and he's, you know, got some good followers and all that. But hey, Parker, I'm going to tell you something, buddy. Take this from an old man. Don't make that your career. YouTube is not a career. It's not. Get out there and do something else because it ain't, won't last, man. Trying to help people. I, I'm, I wish you the best at what you're doing, and I, and I, you you seem to be a good kid, and you you trying and getting your shit loud and all that, but don't don't let these companies suck you in, and get it where you have to be sponsored by them and have to and and you got to be PC with them. What you need to do is throw that death bounce in the garbage, and you need to bring them tear amps back off the wall and put that shit in that truck. <laughs> That's what I would do.
<laughs> and run you some of these. I know you done a video on the Harmony Audio. You give them a bad rap, but you bought the cheapest sub they make. This ain't a cheap one. This one's three ninety nine. I want you to put 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 a couple of these in that that vehicle. Go out there and pay for them, like I have to do, and the other people. Go buy you one of them. Don't talk garbage about your cheap line now, cause that's the you bought the cheapest sub on the internet. Go get you one of these. Run your test on it. See what you think. Let it break it. Let it break in, and then tell me what you think. I bet you'll be surprised. But Anyway, guys, you have a good day. Parker, keep up the good work, man. You're doing good. But glue your eyebrows to your glasses so they don't move so much. I mean, I'd like to turn around and show you how I do I, I do it all the time. I'll be talking to my son like, look here, Miller. There's Parker right here doing them eyebrows. Can you do it? I'm trying to do it. He can do it. You want to do it? Hey, yeah, guys, come, come, come over here and do it right quick. We're going to do you. We're going to show him. We're gonna show Miller the base head. Don't video me. Yeah, yeah, right here in my uh -huh. video, right here. You, you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. He don't want to do it. He's scared. I'll do it for you one day. Anyway, take care, guys. We'll do another video soon. I'll show you what it does coming out of the other car and the other speaker running off that duck sauce. You know that old cheap Chinese amp. Take care. See you. Bye.